My fellow Americans, today I speak to a nation in grief. Yesterday, a school filled with innocent children and caring teachers became the scene of terrible violence, hatred, and evil. That's President Trump in the wake of another mass shooting in the U.S. A 19-year-old man accused of opening fire on his former high school in Florida, leaving 17 people dead Wednesday. Now, Trump also vowed his administration will work to make schools safer and tackle the big issue of mental illness. We are committed to working with state and local leaders to help secure our schools and tackle the difficult issue of mental health. The president ignoring questions from reporters about gun safety as he left the room. In fact, he noticeably did not use the word gun once during his remarks about Wednesday's mass shooting. No mentions of guns either in an early morning tweet. So many signs that the Florida shooter was mentally disturbed, even expelled from school for bad and erratic behavior. Neighbors and classmates knew he was a big problem. Must always report such instances to authorities again and again. Mental health may well be a key factor in yesterday's tragedy. Alleged social media posts by the suspect and his expulsion from school for bad behavior seem to indicate a disturbed young man. But critics say America's gun culture is in the least equally to blame. The 19-year-old suspect was reportedly armed with an AR-15 semi-automatic rifle and carrying multiple magazines of ammunition. That type of gun, critics say, is used primarily to ensure a maximum kill, a type of gun that's been used in other mass shootings in the U.S., a Las Vegas music festival, an Orlando nightclub, an elementary school in Connecticut, and now a high school in Florida. Politicians have been uniting in their grief and prayers for the Florida victims and their families, but falling into predictable lines over gun control. At some point, we've got to say enough is enough. I'd rather pass gun safety legislation than win the election. If there's someone who's not supposed to get a gun, who's getting a gun, then we've got to figure out why that's happening and fix that. Parkland now joins an increasingly long list of school shootings in the U.S. An organization called Every Town for Gun Safety keeps a running tally of those horrific events. It says there have been 18 school shootings in the U.S. in 2018, and we're just in the first seven weeks of this year.